Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I'm here in Washington, D.C. at the Supreme Court building. And one of the first things you notice when you walk up, aside from all of the marble, is the words, equal justice under law. The first word, equal. It's March of 2013, and in the United States right now, certain states have marriage equality. The country does not. What type of message is it when you have your Supreme Court saying, equal? justice under the law. Currently right now in 2013, they're sort of bulldozing it, wanting each state to locally figure out marriage equality. So maybe for example, New York, which already has marriage equality, will, but then Georgia will not. Why is a country okay with portions of its people being treated fairly and equal, but not the entire country? And also, equal justice under the law. Without having marriage equality recognized on a national level, that hurts on the immigrant side of thing. Weddings are not recognized by the government. So for example, if a, a mixed gendered couple were to get married, they could stay here in the United States. But if a same sex couple were to get married, their partner would not legally be able to stay in the United States. By letting state by state figure out marriage equality, why are you saying that to the international world, don't send us any lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgendered people? Barack Obama, what type of message are, are you sending out? You're supposed to be, you know, yes we can. Yes we can state by state. It's a national thing. All Americans deserve to be treated equally and fairly across the country. I don't know when that's gonna happen. It's 2013 right now, but I call for you. If you're against marriage equality, educate yourself. It's simple. If people love each other, they wanna be together. It's, you know, who voted on heterosexual marriages? Nobody. And, and talking about, you know, marriages for procreation, Senior citizens, should they automatically be divorced when they can no longer have children? It's insane. It's, and if you want to go with a religious aspect, remember, we're talking about the government. Separation of church and state. I remind you, equal justice under the law. I don't know when that change is going to happen, but I hope in my lifetime, and for the kids that are born after me, and for the people in Uganda who don't necessarily have all their rights right now, that that change happens sooner than later. Support equality.